Hello and welcome to Britain's Got Talent, the show that sets out to find Britain's brightest new act and change their life forever. Every night for the next nine nights, we'll be here to bring you all of the action. And believe me, with 50,000 applicants, there's plenty of it. They're all competing for a truly incredible prize, an appearance at this year's Royal Variety Performance in front of Her Majesty the Queen. And that's why we're on top of this London sightseeing bus. We are off to Buckingham Palace to meet the lady herself, Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, no, no, we're off to Cardiff. Cardiff? On top of this thing? Yeah, it's going to be a long journey. Let's put your feet up, son. So, the acts are ready and the prize is in place. Our auditions are taking place in theatres all over Britain, but these are no ordinary auditions because for the first time ever, they're taking place in front of a live audience! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! They're very good. But you'll notice there are three empty seats and it's time to find out who will be filling them. Here are your Britain's Got Talent judges. And there they are, looking good. Now, you'll notice that in front of them, Simon, Amanda and Piers each have a buzzer. When they press that buzzer, their corresponding X turns red. When an act gets three red Xs, their time is up and the audition's over. <laughs> Yes, thank you, judges. Now, throughout the audition process, those three will choose who goes through to the next round. But ultimately, it will be you who decides the winner of Britain's Got Talent. So, without any further ado, let the auditions commence. Well, I think it's fair to say we haven't had the best of starts. Oh, well, Britain hasn't got talent. See everybody. Bye-bye. No, David, it, it, it is what it is. What a morning. Act's not going through, judges not happy. It seems like everyone's got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. Even I got out of bed on the wrong side this morning. Really? Mm. I ended up in the wardrobe. <laughs> Let's hope everything gets a bit better this afternoon. It's just a job. Let's get on with it, Damon. OK. <laughs> <laughs> He's sort of rude, isn't he? That's just rude. And £100,000. Backstage, the mood is electric, so the question is... Can this afternoon's acts keep it up? Can they go through to the next round by wowing the judges? And can we get down from here, cos I don't like heights and I feel pretty sick? Yes, we can. Thank you. Hello there, Rupert. We heard you were outside, we just had to come <laughs> and say hello. <laughs> Rupert's lovely. What's Ru what does Rupert do? Um, well, Rupert's going to be doing an obstacle course, but it's going to involve playing a piano. So he's going to be what? Playing a what? <laughs> playing piano. He plays keyboard the pi piano. He yeah. plays. He plays the piano. <laughs> what kind of music does he play? What is he? What's he what, into? What's he into? I think he's composing his own stuff. <laughs> right, so, Rupert. Um, the winner of this show uh, gets to perform for the Queen at the Royal Variety. Uh, what do you think about that? 
I, th I, th I think he's excited. I think what excited. he said there was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it and relish the challenge. Where we've moved from the side of a stage in Cardiff to the side of a stage in Manchester. You know, that's one of the things I love about show business, the travel. Yes, but have the people of Manchester got talent? Let's find out. Run duo, Brian and Melanie. This is Little Firewater. I am White Dove. We are father and daughter. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> and you're throwing knives this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. How, how, are you, how are you feeling? When you... I'm, uh, I've not been like this. I'm doing a show before. What? Really? Like what? Nervous. I'm you're shaking. shaking. I know. Well, that's not good when you're just about to throw knives. <laughs> how do you feel about that? I'm getting keyed up. Well, I might as well start shaking because I'm going to be dead by the sound of this. <laughs> Your eyes are watering now. <laughs> Good luck. Enjoy it, enjoy it. I'm really nervous. I don't know how this is going to go. Anybody order an Indian? Okay. <laughs> uh, and what would it mean to you guys to, to get to the Royal Variety Show and play in front of the Queen? Um, it'll be a fantastic opportunity. It's one of many performers. Um, greatest ambitions to do a thing like the Royal Variety Show and to be performing in front of the Queen, which is our monarchy. OK. All right, well, off you go. Let's see it. OK, thank you. Good afternoon, judges. Love is a burning thing. And it makes a fiery ring. <laughs> I fell into a burning ring of fire. Down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. <laughs> So I think we, we sort of collectively had to bring that to a close before you had an ex-daughter. Um, no, Simon? I, no, what, what, it, what, it, what, what it is, right. I've never been as nervous in my life. Well, no, but with respect, Hiawatha, or whatever your name is, <laughs> we, we stopped you because we think you're about to murder your daughter. No! <laughs> Simon! Simon! <laughs> I would not attempt to stand in front of that board if I thought there was any danger but darling, <laughs> darling three of the top. knives just fell off and he just admitted he's never been so nervous no no Simon, Simon, you've got to understand why are you which? arguing with me when I just saved your life <laughs> Simon. I don't get that please oh come on <laughs> hardly save the life what a knight in shining armor yeah well done <laughs> superman yeah, there's a squeak there. Well, disturbingly, <laughs> it's uh, one of the best acts we've seen in Manchester. <laughs> Get yourself on there, son. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> Is a budding comedian desperate to be the next Peter Kay. So what do you want to do when you get old? Do you want to be a professional comedian? Well, yes, and I'd like to go around football clubs entertaining them, especially my favourite team, Manchester United. Oh, Manchester United. <laughs> or Newcastle United. No, but I've got a joke for you. Oh, go on, then. Go on, then. What's the difference between a taxi and the Newcastle United goalkeeper? A know. taxi only lets five in. I was really beginning to like you yeah. for a minute. We're going to fall out, me and you, you know. I can see it. I can see it happening. <laughs> so that's it from Manchester. Everybody here at Britain's Got Talent is about to embark on a real journey, and we're no different. Two right. Straight down the M6 and home before last orders. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to everybody who came to the Manchester auditions and proved once and for all that Britain has got talent.